Fabrizio Romano offers key update in tense situation amid Ten Hag crunch talks. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has reportedly not heard off the Manchester United hierarchy after Sir Jim Ratcliffe and other officials met in London to discuss the manager's future. After several poor performances this season, concerns were raised amongst the Manchester United hierarchy concerning recent results. Eric Ten Hag has been adamant that he can turn the club's form around and believes he still has the backing of Dan Ashworth and the Manchester United board. Speculation was building after the Aston Villa game that the crunch meeting in London was very significant in deciding the former Ajax manager's future. However, Manchester United have remained silent since the meeting, which has left many questioning how much support the Dutchman has at the club. It was expected that if they had decided to sack Ten Hag an announcement would have followed. With the current silence, it is reported that Ten Hag is preparing for the Brentford fixture after the international break. Despite the expectation that Ten Hag will remain as Manchester United manager, Fabrizio Romano has offered a key update regarding Ineo's stance on the Dutch coach. Speaking on his YouTube page, Romano said, Eric Ten Hag has not received any communication on his future from INEOS. Ten Hag remains very calm and is preparing for the game against Brentford. The club are still discussing internally it is a tense situation. Man United star sent home from international duty in third injury worry this week. Ahmad Diallo has become the latest Manchester United star to withdraw from international duty this week. Alejandro Garnacho and Kabi Mainu have already been excused by Argentina and England respectively with Ahmad also returning to Manchester ahead of schedule. The 22-year-old returned to the Ivory Coast setup after an 18-month absence in August with the Africa Cup of Nations champions in qualifying action against Sierra Leone on Friday and again on Tuesday. But the Ivorian Football Federation have confirmed Ahmad has left the squad due to health reasons and has returned to Manchester for further assessment. Ahmad started the 2024-25 season as a first-team regular, named in the starting 11 in four of United's seven Premier League matches, also starting both Europa League games against FC20 and Porto. Eric Ten Hag has frequently rotated his wide options of Ahmad, Garnacho and Marcus Rashford this term with the Ivorian registering one goal and one assist. The Dutchman's future at Old Trafford remains under intense speculation after a miserable run of results but latest reports suggest Ten Hag believes he will still be in charge when United return to action at home to Brentford on October 19. Garnacho meanwhile will not be involved in Argentina's matches against Venezuela and Bolivia due to a knee problem. The winger played the full 90 minutes in Sunday's goalless draw with Aston Villa but has returned to the UK after United's medical team advised him not to take further risks during the international break. Maynou meanwhile was one of three England players to pull out of the squad ahead of games against Greece and Finland alongside Esri Kansa and Morgan Gibbs-White. The 19-year-old was forced off in the 3-0 defeat to Tottenham at the end of September and missed last week's 3-3 draw with Porto. The midfielder was back in the starting against 11 against Villa having been near ever present in Ten Hag's team this season. Luis Saha names two Man United stars who aren't helping Bruno Fernandes. Luis Saha fears the presence of Christian Eriksen and Kabi Mainu as a midfield pairing is creating more problems for Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes. United have endured a miserable start to the season which has left Eric Ten Hag's future at Old Trafford under intense scrutiny during the international break. Fernandes' form has also suffered, failing to score in 11 appearances having also been sent off in two of his last three games with the first of those against Tottenham later rescinded. 19-year-old Maynou has been a fixture in midfield but Ten Hag has chopped and changed when it comes to picking his partner in the middle of the park. Case Miro started the first three Premier League games of the season but has been a substitute since. Manuel Agarte, a £50 million signing from Paris Saint-Germain in the summer, struggled on his first league start against Tottenham and was also benched for the goalless draw against Villa. Eriksen has started three of United's last four league matches but Saha fears the Dane and Maynou do not have the legs to properly support Fernandez, also fearing their positioning is not right. It could be a bit of bad luck that Bruno Fernandez hasn't scored yet, he's hit the bar, and these things happen, Saha told Paddy Power. He doesn't seem to be as confident, but also Manchester United's tactics are a part of it. He hasn't been helped and been given many passes by the wingers. His talent does the talking, 
but when the talent doesn't talk, you'll find him struggling. His work rate has been the same, but the team aren't linking up as well. Some of those tactical choices in midfield, United have good players but they're missing the legs. Kabi Mainu and Christian Eriksen are good on the ball, but sometimes they play too deep and not close enough to the strikers. They're too far away and their positioning is not right, it's a struggle to watch. Manchester United midfielder happy with playing time. Christian Eriksen is happy with the game time he is getting at Manchester United this season. The 32-year-old midfielder, who is currently on international duty with Denmark, has been a regular in Eric Ten Hag's side of late. While the club's player of the month was just won by Andre Onana, the Cameroon star had to see off competition from Eriksen, who was nominated as a contender for the September award. Eriksen has made eight appearances so far this season, scoring three goals in the process. He is now preparing to face Spain and Switzerland in the UEFA Nations League. In an interview with national newspaper Bold, Eriksen explained his happiness with his playing time at Old Trafford this season. Physically and football-wise, I'm fine, Eriksen said as quoted by Monotd.com. The talk when I came into the last, international, session with very few minutes was that it was a problem and now, it's that, I may have almost played too many minutes. It has been great for me to get some minutes continuously, and get some flow, so that I am, again, a player who can play every three days. I don't feel like a 32-year-old, understood in the sense that I don't feel like I'm about to finish as a footballer, he continued. But, precisely because I am 32, people feel from the outside that you might be about to finish. And I think that is sometimes a bit misunderstood. So often age, as a number, is worse than what the player is. I think, there, you have to think about what type of player it is, what position they play and so on. It is of great importance. You have football experience and, of course, you also have the age but, if you still have the speed, quickness, running capacity and things like that, then I don't think there is a big difference between being 32 or 29. Ericsson is talking like a player with something to prove. The criticism about his age must have got to him, but what better way to prove doubters wrong than by letting his feet do the talking? After the international break, Ericsson will be hoping to start against Brentford for United in the Premier League. Back in March, it was a completely different story for Ericsson and he let his feelings known to the media. Ericsson spoke out about not playing enough games after staying at United, despite being expected to leave Old Trafford in the summer. I have previously stated that I am not satisfied with not playing, but it's not something that keeps me up at night, Ericsson told Tipsbladet. The team is performing, and I must respect the role you have alongside. For my part, it has been about working hard and focusing on being fresh for every game, and I am. It is easier now to accept my role than it would have been before. I have had a conversation with Eric, Ten Hag, about being unhappy with the situation and wanting to play as much as possible, but I am available and need to be available for the team, which I am and always will be. The situation has improved for Ericsson since March, but should he be starting in midfield for United when his best days are behind him?